This following segment, I'll introduce to you a program uh, called G Parted, a Linux based program. Uh, great little program can be used for partitioning hard drives. I always suggest to my students that when you first get your computer, the first thing you need to do is partition it. Uh, having one large C partition doesn't do you any good if that partition becomes infected, corrupted, or unstable, and you have to replace your operating system. Oftentimes, you lose all of your important files that are also on drive C. So what I suggest is you partition to at least two partitions, drive C and drive D. These become uh, logical partitions, and therefore, you can put your files in partition D and your operating system in partition C. I also suggest that you back up your operating system to partition D. This way it allows you to restore your operating system very, very quickly instead of having to find all your drivers and take all the time it takes to do an initial installation. Uh, to get started with Gparted, uh, we've got it running on a virtual uh, machine uh, inside of XP. Uh, we started uh, from the insert uh, disk, which is a security rescue toolkit that's been also created uh, as a Linux utility for restoring or rescuing uh, dead or dying Windows XP systems. You can see there's a selection here, uh, Gparted, Edit, View, Disk, uh, Partition and Help. This particular uh, partition is only 15.99 gigabytes, fairly small partition, but it'll su suit our needs. Uh, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, click on this partition. We're going to create a new partition. Now when we create new partitions, uh, it's going to default to a primary partition uh, in ext2 file system. We want to change that uh, to NTFS. NTFS is the preferred file system. That's new technology file system by Microsoft. Uh, First, we'll have a part primary partition. Primary partition is needed uh, needed to be bootable to, in order for you to have a bootable operating system. You can see that we have uh, the full amount here. What I like to do is probably divide that, uh, or at least make 10,000 as our primary partition. Uh, go ahead and add that. Uh, now we have a primary partition of 9.77 gigabytes and unallocated space of six. So I'm going to click on the unallocated space. I'm going to create also new. This time instead of the primary partition, I'm going to create or select extended partition. And I'm going to use the remaining space. So I'll select add. Uh, in this remaining space, uh, this extended partition, I'm going to create what's called a logical drive. Now I can create as many logical drives as I want in the extended uh, partition, but I'm just going to create one. Uh, I'm going to also create this as an NTFS file system, and I'm going to use the full full amount. I could go ahead and sign uh, whatever amount I want, 3 gigs, 2 gigs, and have additional space for more partitions, but I just want the two. So I'll select Add. Now I have two partitions. Now I'm finished. All I need to do now is go up and, and click on Apply and go ahead and save these settings. Uh, it only takes uh, a short period of time to uh, create these two partitions and also format them. You can see here it's working. And it's almost complete. It's complete. Now I can close this and I can come out of part uh, G parted and go ahead and now begin to install my operating systems. Again, I suggest at least one primary partition, so you have a bootable partition. This needs to be set active. And then at least one extended partition where we can store our files. Uh, this concludes the segment. Thank you very much.